What's up, Phaser? Dr. Pineapples here, and this is my first video on Phaser. I was accepted as a Phaser director today. Um, I got a notification on Skype, and I talked to the guy, and we got it all set up. I'm officially a Phaser director, so a huge thank you to everyone over at Phaser Games. And it's a really small community channel as of right now, um, but I do hope to get a partnership from them in the future. And uh, just to sum it all up, thank you. Really, it really does mean a lot to me, and I appreciate the opportunity to get my channel more exposure and you know just bigger because on YouTube this these days it is really hard to get you know noticed because it's just an overwhelming amount of people doing the same thing I mean I really do you don't understand the appreciation I have for you guys accepting me as a director so thank you okay so on to the gameplay here this is a four minute or so 2v2 Moab on getaway Modern Warfare 3 using the P90 and the ACR um, you know four minutes in the very fast most fast Moab God, I can't speak. The best Moab. But for a 2v2, it qualifies as for around a 2.5 minute Moab for uh, 6v6. So, you know, 2v2, you're not going to get the fast Moabs that you can get in 6v6 or ground war. But for the most part, a 4 minute 2v2 Moab is fairly fast. So, for this first video on Phaser, I do want to introduce myself as a gamer to you guys. My name is Dr. Pineapples. I am 15 years old. And I live in the eastern United States. And, uh, I post on my channel. You come over to my channel. You'll find Modern Warfare 3 commentaries. Minecraft on the rare occasion. I do like to play Minecraft. And I'll post Let's Plays of uh, Minecraft on the PC and the Xbox. But um, I also post whatever Call of Duty I really want to. I mainly post Modern Warfare 3. But occasionally I'll post a Call of Duty 4 Black Ops game. Uh, because I do find variations is what makes a successful channel. So if you come over to my channel and subscribe, you'll definitely see some Call of Duty and uh, Call of Duty and Minecraft on the occasion. So what I wanted to really touch on in this commentary was E3. Now it, E3, many games were released. You know, you saw um, Tomb Raider, Halo 4, Black Ops 2, and a bunch of other ones. I can't really remember the other ones, but um, Black Ops 2 and Halo 4 are the two main games I'm looking forward to. I know many other people are looking forward to the same games because they're the biggest ones that were shown. Um, but Black Ops 2, one word looks, I mean, no, I can't even do it in one word. It looks amazing. It looks like it's going to be fantastic, absolutely great. But that's what we said for Modern Warfare 3. That's what we said for Black Ops and Modern Warfare 2. We all thought it was going to be amazing It starts at the start. So I don't really know what to say. I, it looks good, I'll give it that. But will it actually be good? I don't know. We can all think that what we want to think about it, but we'll never know until the actual day it comes out and people are playing it and we get a good feel for how the game actually is. Halo 4 is another game that's pretty. I'm looking f pretty forward to. Been a pr decently uh, big Halo fan. So if you guys did enjoy the video, please give it a like, rating, subscribe to Phaser, come over to my channel, subscribe to me, follow me on Twitter at dr underscore pineapples, and um. Thanks for watching. See you all. Have a nice day.